You know, this past week I talked about uh, pre-trib rapture scriptures in 2 Thessalonians, and I've really been convicted about something that I've heard a lot of the uh, people out there saying, and uh, so I'm really going to change my ways. 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, verses 1-3 through 3 says, Finally, brethren, pray for us that the word of the Lord may have free course and be glorified, even as it is with you, and that we may be delivered from unreasonable and wicked men, for all men have not faith. But the Lord is faithful, who shall establish you and keep you from evil. And I made the mistake. Stay with me, I'm just being satirical here. I made the mistake of saying that our faith is the source of our strength. But you know, I've seen this statement over and over again, where people say, well, you know, I'm hoping for a pre-trib rapture, but preparing for a post-trib rapture. And you know, I've really thought about that philosophy, and I think I'm going to adopt that for all matters of my life. You see, I have been hoping for being saved and going to heaven someday. But uh, just in case I'm wrong, I'm going to start to uh, read the Catechism. I'm going to have the King James Bible and the Catechism. I mean, I believe, I hope that my King James Bible is true. But just in case, I need to start getting prepared. Just in case, okay? You know, I mean, because what if it's wrong? Then I wouldn't be prepared, see? I'd just be part of the one true church. And, you know, continuing in this philosophy, um, I think that I'm in love with my wife, and I think she loves me. But just in case, I'm going to start to have a, a mistress on the side, just in case something goes wrong with my marriage, because I want to be prepared, you see? Okay, enough foolishness. <laughs> Is that really a stand that a Christian should be taking? I believe that there will be a rapture, but I'm going to still prepare for the going through the tribulation. No, it says there uh, in verse 3, but the Lord is faithful who shall establish you and keep you from evil. We're supposed to live by faith. And don't tell me you can have faith that Jesus died for your sins on the cross. You can believe that that's enough to pay for your sins, but then you can't turn around and have faith to believe that He'll preserve you from a time that if you could go into it, you'd lose your salvation. Don't even tell me that. You need to get right with God. If you are fearing missing the rapture, that the rapture won't be pre-trib and we got to prepare just in case, you're not living by faith. You're living by sight. And you need to repent of that. You're not right with God. You might be saved, but you're taking your eyes off of Jesus Christ. And you're putting your eyes on the world and on the New World Order, and on the cashless system, and all of this other stuff. You need to repent. Put your faith in Jesus Christ. He won't let you down.